In this screencast, I'm going to demonstrate how to create an alias using the CMUD client. For reference, an alias is a short or easy to remember command that you can type into the game that translates into a longer or more complicated command that would normally take longer to enter. For this example, I'm going to make an alias called PL and have it send the command pipelist directly to the game. Let's go ahead and make an alias like that. As you can see, I am already logged into my test client on uh, into my test character on Empyrean using the CMUD client. Once again, remember to be careful when making an alias. An alias will override other commands in the game. If you make an alias for an existing command, then you will make that command inaccessible to your character. First, let's make sure that PL is not already used by the game. As you can see, I got the error message when I typed in PL, so it's safe to assume that the PL uh, command is not already set up in the game. In order to make an alias, I'm going to click on the alias button in the menu bar, and that will bring up the package editor. From here, to create a new alias, I can either just click on the new button right here, or I can hit this drop down list and click on new alias right here. For me, I'm just going to click on the new button, and that is going to pop up a new alias window for me. In name, I'm going to type in what I want my alias to be. In this case, it's PL. All right, that's the command I want to be able to enter. In the box underneath, I'm going to type in what I want the client to actually send to the game when I type in PL. In this case, it is pipe list. I'm going to click save, so I save my alias. And then from here, I should be able to type this into the game and see my pipe list. So I come back over to the game, type in PL again, and, it want, and my pipe list is shown. So it, that alias works perfectly. So I'm going to go back over here to my window. Let's say I don't want that alias anymore. I can just highlight it here. I can right click and go down and hit delete setting or I can just press the button delete on my keyboard. Delete alias. Sure, yeah I do. And now the alias is gone. I can close that window. Come back over, type in PL again and the alias has been deleted. Uh, of course, with CMUD, we can do a lot of very complicated things uh, with aliases. And we're not going to go in that, into that with this screencast, but we will uh, put out some future screencasts that demonstrate some examples on things that you can do. Um, hopefully, this uh, screencast helps those of you that are new to aliases or new to CMUD. And if you have any questions, go ahead and ask on the forums.